the campus of Drexel University, adjoining the University of Pennsylvania. We got a good one tonight between the Drexel Dragons and the Penn Quakers here at the Division II level of the ACHA. And tonight's game is brought to you by Drexel University's LeBeau College of Business. Stay with us for just a few minutes and we'll be coming live to you with the starting lineups and the national anthem in just a few minutes. Good evening and welcome. Good evening and welcome to the class of 1923 Arena. And welcome to tonight's ACHA Division II matchup between the University of Pennsylvania Quakers and your Drexel University Dragons. <laughs> Time to meet the starting lineups first for the Quakers. The starter number 20, Andy Lane. Number 44, Blake Vastola. Number 91, Alex Beckert. Number five, Connor Blend. Number 19, Hayden Stefan. And in net tonight for the Quakers, number 30, Xander Kolstenek. Now let's meet the Drexel University Dragons. A starter defenseman, number 18, Ben Shelley. Defenseman number 25, Jake Rudloff. At forward, number 12, Timmy Mikulik. Forward number 10, Josh Finlayson. A forward, number 19, Barrett Genovese. <laughs> Starting netminder for the Dragons tonight, number 33, Mason Moyer. <laughs> National Anthem, yes or no? Now we'll ask you to all to please rise for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome inside the class of 1923 Arena on the campus of Drexel University. We are underway here. D2 action at the ACHA level, Drexel University against the University of Pennsylvania. Bob Long here to bring you the broadcast. Drexel will be wearing the home whites, pen in the red sweaters this evening. First game of the season for both teams. And the first penalty of the season will go against Penn. Going down on the play was number 19, Barrett Genovese for Drexel. Genovese slow to get up, but quick to the penalty box for Connor Blend. And Genovese concern turns to him there. He's just on the right edge of your screen there. Just 24 seconds into this hockey game. We'll keep you the score updated in your top right hand corner. We'll keep the time updated verbally through me. And we're excited for a good season of Drexel Dragons hockey and more excited to see Genovese up and skating on his own power over to the home bench. First look at Chase tomorrow, number eight, who will check in as Genovese goes to the bench. The two minute minor goes to Connor Blend and Drexel has their first scoring opportunity here as they get the man advantage. Last year, these two teams played a game in this building. It was technically Penn's home game, but we broadcast the game here on the Drexel Hockey Network, Bob Long Sports, and it was an absolute thriller. Drexel won that game seven to six. About six lead changes over the course of the night. That one came all the way through and it was saved there. First look at the goaltender, Xander Kolstinek, and that one rolls over the stick of Ben Shelley. Back into the neutral zone. With it now, Jake Rudloff, he spins it up ice. And carrying it on now, Garrett Sklar. Sklar will wrap behind the net. Bring it in between the circles, take the shot, and it's a glove save by Xander Kolstinek. Nicely done by the netminder there for the University of Pennsylvania. We'll get one more look here. Right in between the circles, through some traffic, really good by Kolstinek early up the task. 19.09 to play, and Drexel still on the man advantage as DeMauro couldn't get that one off. Nice stick raise by the Penn defenseman. This one will come all the way down to Moyer the goaltender for Drexel, and Rudloff will turn with it. Shelley swivels back. Simon Rosenbaum, that one given away, but Rosenbaum will get it back. Still a minute nine to go on the Drexel man advantage. Rosenbaum, he's all alone at this point, an off angle shot, clangs off the wide glass. Now Garrett Sklar. Back for Rosenbaum, and they'll play catch this time. Back behind the net, Garrett Sklar. To the point it comes for Shelley, who switched spots with Rudloff, who now takes the spot at the left point. A skip pass back behind the net. On it now, DeMauro. To the point. One more for Rudloff. A one-timer was deflected wide by the defender number 20, Andy Lane. Shelley will pinch slightly. Good spin that time by Sklar. DeMauro is back there. Shovels it for Rosenbaum and Drexel in control here. 23 seconds left on the man advantage, still scoreless. Three minutes into this one. Rosenbaum. Patience here from the Dragons. And that pass intercepted, but Drexel will remain with possession of it. Four seconds left. And on it now, number 26, Chris Lurie. Laurie handles it, in comes Finlayson, and that's picked up off his stick. But that should be an icing as they were back to full strength with the Quakers before they fired that one down the ice. So Drexel, they've had some pressure, they did a nice job creating some scoring chances on that man advantage. Nothing done yet, but some tired legs there on the Quakers side who will have to return the ice for one last clearance.
A fight for the puck, and here comes the Quakers with it. Now they should be able to get that change they need, but nice job there by the Dragons. And an open ice hit clangs number 26, Chris Lurie, to the ice. Back there to get it, Josh Finlayson raises the stick, comes up with possession. He's got Mikulik along there with him, elects to go to the point. And the switch pass goes off the skate of Mike Urbani, and now it is a foot race. Urbani's going to get there first, but in there is Hayden Stefan. Touch there at the red line. This will wave off the icing. And Lori is back there to chase as Drexel gets the change. On it now, number nine, Zach Messerly, pumping it back behind the net to get it now, Calvin Alfalafarov. Alfalafarov can't clear. That wasn't necessarily well done there. And now Drexel has possession. In front, looking for a shot, couldn't get it on net. That was Alec Beckert, number 91. If you're just joining us, 14.47 to go here in the first period, and it is Drexel 0, Penn 0. Chase DeMauro flips it into the zone. Takes down his own teammate, Garrett Sklar. And now a whistle. We got a penalty call. That should go against... The University of Pennsylvania. So for the second time, Drexel goes on the man advantage. Fourteen thirty-five to play, first period. It's D2 action here at the ACHA level. The University of Pennsylvania against Drexel University. Bob Long here on the play-by-play. -play. Excited to be here bringing it to you all. Simon Rosenbaum wins the faceoff for the Dragons. Shelley left it off. Now a long shot. They bang away at it and score. Drexel on the board. Shot came from the point, but then in front was Chase DeMauro. And he beats the goaltender, Xander Kolstenek. one nothing Dragons. Fourteen twenty-seven to play. Blocker save, and that was an opportunity there for Lowry. Couldn't get the bouncing puck, and that one rolled over Shelley's stick. And out to mid-ice. Big hit there. That one kept in there by Penn. That's well done. See if they can create an opportunity, but a nice bat of the stick by number 12, Timmy Mikulik. He, along with Josh Finlayson, the two captains for this Drexel team this year, And that careens off the foot of number 26, Shane Better. Drexel has it now. Finlayson able to guide that one behind the goal line where number 14, Justin Williams for Penn, is on it. Williams, after getting clanged, will able to be able to clear the zone here with some possession for Penn. See if they can get a shot off, but it was three of four. Make that one on three. Drexel, no problem there with Moyer making the save. Zach Plotkin brought it into the zone along with Zach Messerly. Messerly back behind the net. Mike Connolly in the area as well. Connolly shovels that one down, and Daniel Seaman works to corral it for Drexel. It'll be Messerly, Seaman, nudged into the boards. Got it nearly out in front, but a nice job by Penn. Get it in the skates. Couldn't clear the zone, though. Plotkin pushes it deep. Mike Connolly on it now. Connolly for Seaman. And now, mercifully under the sick of Drew of Ramon. But can Ramon clear? Indeed he can. Maybe an opportunity here for Penn. Will Torgerson takes the shot. It's blocked right away. Urbani was there. Moyer, they jam away at him. And that one came right across the crease. 12.33 to go. Drexel 1. Penn 0. Plotkin now with it. And Drexel able to calmly clear. In fact, with possession, good look up the ice. Connolly tried to go through the leg with the toe drag. But Drexel coming in with reinforcements. Michael Webb 
Gets it up the far side boards. That's a good looking and extrication there from Penn. Shot blocked again. And this time it's number seven, Josh Sklar. But now Sklar having some trouble getting rid of it. Shot did not get on net. Weak side shot goes off the outside of the netting. 11.50 to play. Still that one nothing tally. First period action. And Sklar comes up with it. Good move there, number 24, Garrett Sklar. Punched behind there by Simon Rosenbaum, and that net comes off the moorings, banged by the red sweater of a Penn Quaker. 11.26 to play, 1-0, Drexel leads. This is the first tilt for both teams this year. A lot to learn as we enter this D2 ACHA season. In fact, Penn still trying to figure out sweaters and numbers, and some of them have the names on the back and some don't. Talking to the head coach before, they're still trying to get things together. September comes early, especially the year after neither of these teams had a season. We're certainly a little rusty getting back here as well. Appreciate everybody being with us here on Bob Long Sports, broadcasting on the Drexel Hockey Network. Penn comes up the near side. And an offside call. It was Blend and Becker stride for stride, but they beat the puck into the zone. 11-01, this faceoff comes out of the Drexel defensive zone. It's also a doubleheader here tonight, so if you follow us, on our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe if you're watching the game right now. You should be able to just hit that subscribe button. You'll get notifications whenever we go live for Drexel Hockey. And it will be a separate link, unique to the Division I team, from which we'll be going live here tonight. But again, on this same YouTube channel where you'll catch all the Drexel games throughout the year. 10.40 to play. Drexel with that one nothing lead. It was Chase Damaro who scored the goal. Drew Vraman. Punches that one in, and Axel D'Amelio in there. Couldn't get the puck in front, and a nice job by Ben Shelley. Shelley on the far side boards, pulls it up, uses that board for assistance, and does get it out of the zone. Rahman punches it back, and Drexel now will recoil. Pulled down there by number 28, Daniel Seaman, and punched right back by Penn. And this one is not going to be icing because it's going to be Finlayson there first as Drexel gets the change. A fluid skater. Mikulik hit hard as he gets that one towards the goal line. Now up towards the point, here comes Penn. Good move there. Matt Keller with the backhand and it's deflected up and into the netting. Mike Urbeni there. And a nice job backtracking that time. You see it there, stride for stride, and able to get that stick in. Great timing, great effort by Mike Urbani. 9.36 to play, 1-0 the score. Drexel with the lead. Finlayson for Mikulek, and that one does get out to center, and that one is going to be offside. That one went right into the pouch there. Um, number 18 for Penn, Hayden Stefan. Nine twenty-two left. Faceoff comes all the way down into the Drexel offensive zone. Shot tally six for Penn and five for Drexel, but one of those five found the back of the net. Chase Tomorrow gets the first goal of the year for the Drexel Dragons. Rosenbaum came down on the play. Sklar looking to get into it as well, but this time Penn fillets that one off the side, side boards. Urbani taking off the puck, and Penn grinding on this forecheck. Urbani in there for Drexel. Connor Blend working hard for Penn. Comes onto the stick of number 26, Shane Better. In front it comes. 
over better stick, and Drexel back the other way. Garrett Sklar. Sklar with an off angle shot, and that's saved and held by the goaltender, Xander Kolstinek. One more look at Kolstinik flying up the near side. Uh, make that uh, Sklar flying up the near side. And Kolstinik snagging it with that glove hand. Shot comes through, didn't get all the way to net. That shot does come right across the blue paint. Winding it through was Mark Laurie. And Penn shovels that one off the side and boards and out. In the neutral zone, Penn will switch it and give it away. Here's an opportunity for Drexel, Daniel Seaman. Eric Eisler got in there for Drexel on the four check, but Penn with it now. 8.04 to play first period. It's one to Drexel and zero to the Quakers, and that one easy that time. In fact, Mason Moyer thought about letting that one go, but decided we'll do it with a face-off in the Penn offensive zone. 7.57 to go in the first period. As we mentioned, a double petter here tonight. D2 started at about... 7.40 or so. And D1 will begin at shortly after 10 o'clock. It may even be later in the 10.30 uh, the time frame. They're going to get the ice at about 10.10. After the conclusion of this one, we'll be here for a Drexel doubleheader here on Friday night. Whipped around the boards. And Shelley with it now. Shelley maybe waited a little too long. Good opportunity in front for Penn and a layout that time by the defender for Drexel. And might create an opportunity. Shot goes wide. Good effort there though by Chris Lurie, number 26. That was at the moment of truth on the other end of the ice. Number 25 in there, Jake Rudloff as well. Rudloff taken down and they're going at it. And he won't get off a of Rudloff. Number 44, Blake Vastola. And let's take a look at this one again. And there it is. Tail end of it there is the referee finally did intervene. This should probably be a penalty to both gentlemen. And indeed it is. But it's going to be two Quakers going into the box. One Drexel Dragon. So as they sort this one out, we'll see what type of man advantage they do, how long these penalties are. It was 44 for Penn, Blake Vastola. And then number 25, Jake Rudloff, the defender for Drexel that were in it. But also in the box goes Alex Beckert, number 91. And now the pen captain being explained to by the head official. And that'll be Hayden Stefan, number 18, over at the box. You can see he's kind, of, he's kind of having the conversation with, it looks like Becker at number 91, because he's the one that was confused over there as to what his role was in the skirmish. But it's two-minute minors across the board. So the offsetting minors to Vastola and to Rudloff. And then Becker gets the other two-minute minor. It'll be five-on-four hockey for the Dragons. Players looked ready to have the puck dropped, but we still have one official over at the scoring box across ice from us and right next to the University of Penn's bench. 
Unique, certainly, 1923 arena here on, it says Penn, certainly on the ice, but both these teams call this their home. Walking distance from everybody's dorms and student housing. The campuses butt right next to each other here in beautiful downtown Philadelphia, Center City. Cordially goes by University City, just a little bit further down the numbered streets away from market. And that shot blocked and goes wide. Tim Mikulik. So yes, they have adjoining locker rooms. Again, they're walking in and out of the building as one practice ends and the other begins. So this, a bit of a grudge match between these two D2 foes. 6.45 to go. Five on four for Drexel for the next 90 seconds. Popping up high. Plotkin brought it down. Plotkin stands back behind the net, and now here we go. Nearly lost, and now indeed so. So the misplay by Mike Urbani allows for the clearance. 70 seconds left on the man advantage. 6.23 left in the first period. Drexel 1 and Penn 0. Simon Rosenbaum turns on the Jets. He comes back behind the net. Reinforcements come, but he decides he doesn't need it. Is that one fired just high of the bar? Chase tomorrow. He's the goal scorer. One timer that comes through. Hits loose and another nice save there. He got two of them. Did Xander Kolsinek. Kept in at the line. Sklar. One timer from the point that was blocked. Well defended there by Penn. 27 seconds left. And Penn will now take their time flipping it down the ice. They'll get a substitution. 18 seconds left on the man advantage. 5.30 left in the first period. Ben Shelley ripped off the boards. In to get it first is Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum delays back behind the net. Sklar, two seconds down to one. And Becker is out of the box. They're back at full strength. Ripped from the off angle. No. Another one comes right on. That one did stay in the, in, the, uh, in the rink here. Back to the point. They'll try it one more time. They score. Rosenbaum is claiming it. He's got the hands in the air. Looked like a deflection. And the assist goes to Owen Mentom. Really good there from the Dragons. The power play had ended. It's going to go down as a full-strength goal. But Drexel, great execution, wearing down this University of Penn defense and earning themselves a second goal of the night. 5.01 to go here in the first period. There's a conversation over there at the scorer's box, and I think we would have had conversation and confirmation earlier than this if this was uh, anything to do with a high stick. Of course, that was a high shot, but looks good from here. Stick's got to be below the bar when it hits the puck, and we got that confirmation. 2 nothing Dragons, 5.01 to play. Although that board has not updated. There it has, now it has. 2 nothing Dragons, 4.50 to play. Mike Urbani back behind the net, fighting with number 14, Justin Williams for Penn, who has it now. Back to the point it comes. Williams went down. Now a shot through traffic, and it was deflected. Matt Keller from the point shot that one. Now blend. And it's sent back the other way. Icing called against the Dragons, 4.27 to go first period. Four twenty-three to go, and now Drexel turns on it. Eric Eisler. Eisler nudges that one towards the goal line. Messerly is there. 
And Messerly turns with the puck on the far side boards. He's double teamed over there, but does Yeoman's work to stay on that puck. Now Penn comes back the other way with it. Two on two, but with some trailing dragons, they're not gonna get much out of that. In fact, they're gonna get an offside call and some late contact. Number five, Connor Blend takes down number 26 for Drexel Cliss Lurie. And now the captains are getting involved. Timmy Mikulik tries to separate Zach Plotkin, who had something to say to Blend. Little chippy here in University City, Pennsylvania. A fight for bragging rights, a fight for the class of 1923 arena. Home rink for both of these teams. The arena got a major facelift before the 2019-2020 season. There's a big hit delivered by Lurie and he got him back. Chris Lurie on number five, Connor Blend. Penn with it now. Beckert, good move there, and that was just not well controlled by number 18, Hayden Stefan. But he got in there and scored. So the recovery by Stefan. A heavy touch at the blue line. He makes up for it. Drives to net, gets the goal. Flicks it up and in. Penn on the board, Drexel two, Penn one. And for a bit of a careless touch on Stefan's part, there were two careless touches on the Drexel side and give Stefan all the credit, did not give up on that play. That was brilliant from the Penn forward. Trying to get another one back right away. Blocked there by Drexel, tipped up and wide off the stick of number 44, Blake Vastola. Good turn that time by DeMar, a little bit beyond the outstretched stick of Garrett Sklar. Lori with it now, uh, make that Rudloff, number 25. Sklar's gonna chase it down, but Vastola in control for Penn. They'll swivel back, where it's Tyler McGoldrick. McGoldrick, he'll get it back, back behind his own net. Played forward for number 25, Calvin Alferov. And there's a penalty coming. That's gonna go against Drexel, and Penn will get the man advantage. One more look at the penalty here on the near side. Lines him up, Rudloff will go to the box for two minutes. Two twenty-six to play here, an entertaining first period of hockey. Now the official is talking to Justin Levin, head coach of Drexel University's D2 team. And Drexel's trying to get a late substitution, perhaps a quick chat. The officials are calling them back briskly to the face-off circle. Two guys in the box, two minors for Drexel. The second one is Chase Demaro, so it's five on three for the next two minutes for the Quakers. Vastola. Vastola at the top of the circle. There's a shot deflected there in front. Will Torgerson got a good look on that one, but Drexel jamming up in front of the net. 2.02 left in the period, 1.34 left on the two-man advantage. McGoldrick, Vastola, back for McGoldrick, and a nice touch there. Drexel not out of trouble yet though, Plotkin back behind the net, touched on there. Looking for McGoldrick and said it's Torgerson across for Vastola. Vastola sends across, he was looking for Torgerson. Torgerson has it back. 
And nobody there, Vastola, that was to him. But he does get it back a shot, though, trying to beat him glove side, could not. Plotkin dives for it, not out of trouble. 54 seconds left, a tired set of three defensemen for Drexel. There's a one-timer blocked wide there by Rosenbaum. And that one jams into the back of the net and we'll get a stoppage with 107 to play in the period. 41 on the five on three to Penn. Much needed full substitution here for Drexel. They'll get Finlayson as well as Mikulik and Owen Mendham. Mendham assisted on the goal to Rosenbaum, the second goal of the night. Penn got some substitutions in there as well. Here's Andy Lane. A one-timer comes through off the stick of number nine, Will Torgerson. And it's Mason Moyer up to task for Drexel. And you'll see here, just trying to create some space, a nice one-timer there. But Moyer was up to it. 27 seconds left on the five on three. Across they come, good looking shot, they score! Huck movement creates the opening for Andy Lane. A power play goal, and it's two apiece here at the class of 1923 arena. An ACHA D2 opener. So there will still be 18 seconds left of a five on four power play. 44 seconds left in the period. What a response by this Penn team. This game was an absolute classic last year. Seven to six. Why should we expect any different here in the 2021 opener? Neither of these teams have played in a year and a half. There's a lot of pent-up energy. Some guys that were still playing high school hockey back the last time there was a game. That one just high. 15 seconds left. Penn got a good look at it there, but now everybody's going to have to touch up. Seven seconds left. Plotkin, he looks up, and he's just going to hang back behind the net. We're going to head to the intermission. It's 2-2. Entertainment abounding here at the class of 1923 Arena. University of Pennsylvania's home, and yes, Drexel University's home. The Dragons, the home team tonight, got out to a hot start, 2-0. And then two goals down the stretch for Penn. One, a power play goal, that was the second one, and then a bit of a broken play was the difference as Hayden Stefan crashed the net. He put the first goal of the night on the board. Boy, we're just getting started here tonight, folks. Hang with us. Intermission, and then in about 15 minutes, we'll be back with the second period. This is Drexel Dragons Hockey. It's live here on the Drexel Hockey Network, Bob Long Sports. And all of our games are brought to you by the Drexel University LeBeau College of Business. Stay with us.
Welcome back, folks, inside class of 1923 Arena, the home of both the Penn Quakers and the Drexel Dragons, D2 hockey teams here at the ACHA level. Tonight, it's technically the Drexel Dragons sitting on the home bench on our side of the ice here. The Penn Quakers wearing the red sweaters on the roadside. It has been a great game thus far. Bob Long here on the play-by-play -play for Bob Long Sports. And the Drexel Hockey Network put 20 on the clock. Let's do it again for the second period. It was Drexel coming out to a 2-0 lead. Played great in the early stretches of this one. But Penn came back late. A bit of a broken play. And Hayden Stefan get the goal. Put the Quakers within one. And then they got a second one on a 5-on-3 power play in the waning moments of that two-minute 5-on-3 advantage and in the last minute of the period. So we sit here now, two apiece. Chase DeMauro got one goal for Drexel. Simon Rosenbaum got the second goal for the Dragons, and Owen Mentem, the defenseman, got the assist. The tip drill put it in the back of the net. And we're underway. Again, Penn in red. Drexel in the white, and we're underway. Beckert. Plays that one across the ice for the Quakers. Finlayson couldn't clear the zone, but now does with possession. Finlayson carries it forward. He's nudged off the puck, but Plotkin will get there first. Back behind the net for Lori. In front they come, and nobody there. Beckert nudges it along the boards. Corralled there by Finlayson. And Penn will carry this one forward. Connor Blend. Lowry now won it, 19.06 to play, first period of action. Puck flies into the air as Lowry went down. Back behind the net, it's number eight, Tyler McGoldrick, playing it forward for Beckert. And flipped on. Mike Urbani, the first one to it. Penn comes on, it bounces right on for Moyer, and he covers it up. 18.46 to play, 2-2 two, two the score. In comes Simon Rosenbaum. Coming off for a breather is Daniel Seaman. Owen Mendham will get to this puck first, playing it back behind the net for Josh Sklar. Sklar nudged off the puck, but right there is number 24, Garrett Sklar. Here comes Chase tomorrow. He comes right on in. Backhand is somehow saved. What a save that was. The netminder, Xander Kolstinek, at point blank range. He was heading one way, able to slide that left or that right foot laterally to the right and keep that one out of the back of the net. That was brilliant, though, from Chase tomorrow. And Penn will bring this back up the ice. Icing called, 18.03 to play. Drexel will get an offensive zone faceoff. A double header is upon us here tonight. It's a lot of hockey for the Drexel Dragons. D2 starts things off, gets their season started. And then D1 also gets started this evening as well. They're going to take on the Temple University Owls. Big hit there in towards the Drexel. Benches, Finlayson comes up with the puck. Avoids a hit, brings it in front and it's poked away there by the netminder. Another icing. And the official heads over to that bench to make sure that Yes, the tired legs of the Penn Quakers do remain out there until they get a clearance. But Drexel can certainly substitute as DeMauro comes in. Mikulik comes off. And they're going to keep Mikulik on. A 
Finlayson comes to the circle. And exits the circle. It's Simi Mikulik now. And Penn got the better of that one. Sent into neutral ice. And Penn rushes to the bench to get a switch. Jake Redloff comes onto the puck, taken down, and another hit on him as he went to the ice. Ripped around the boards. And here's number nine, Will Torgerson. Torgerson, I gotta wait up for him, and that's gonna be. Boy, I don't know. Did that puck ever come into the zone? Certainly it would have been offside if so, but Calvin Alifarov was across the ice. I wasn't sure that the puck ever did as Torgerson was carrying it. But as it stands, there's 17 minutes and 13 seconds to play in the second period, and offside is the call. Stefan set to take the face off for the Quakers, but Drexel will win it. Rudloff. Into the neutral zone, plays it once, and now punched forward by number 26, Chris Laurie. Right in front they come. There's a shot, and Kolstinek is on it. Daniel Seaman, number 28, he had the best shot at it in front. Could not finish. One more look. There's Seaman trying to get it onto his forehand. Kolstinek made himself big in the painted area. Stefan kicked out of the face-off circle, but Penn wins it nonetheless. Now, trying to clear it, Will Torgerson turns on the puck well. Penn does get it out to the neutral zone. Swept high and brought back in by Penn. Eric Eisler, a heavy pass, gives it away. Torgerson, good flick forward, avoids the official, trying to get the shot off, and it makes its way into the slot. Now from the point, through some traffic. Moyer got a piece. Another one right in front that came across the front of net, and Drexel will be penalized at the next touch. Penn sends its goaltender, Kolsinek, to the bench. And there's the whistle on a big hit to boot. A dust up, and that's why, that was after the whistle. I don't think there's going to be a penalty for that, but that's the second or third time that Rudloff has gotten crushed at or shortly after the whistle there. But the penalty will go against the Drexel Dragons, the delayed penalty. Ben Shelley to the penalty box. Gino Angeloni, assistant coach, has words for the official there. And I think the question is, hey, how about that late hit? But Penn has controlled the run of play since it was 2-0 Drexel. Got two late goals in the first period. Now another power play for the Quakers. Across the ice they come. Top of the circle. There's a shot. Moyer was there on the near side post. And again, he's whacked at once. So he says, thank you very much. I'll whack you right back. One more look there, they jam at him, and Moyer says, yeah, a little love tap myself. Sixteen minutes to play in the second period, a one-time shot, didn't get all the way through. Good turn that time. Into the slot they come, but over skating at that time was Tyler McGoldrick and sent all the way down by Drexel. A minute 28 to go on the Penn power play. Garrett Sklar tried to get in there. Rosenbaum nudges off the puck. And Urbani turns on it well. Scoops it forward, couldn't clear. Vastola played it in, but now into the neutral zone it comes. Bouncing over the stick of McGoldrick. Vastola. And now McGoldrick again with 15.20 to play. One minute to go on this power play, a giveaway. And Rosenbaum stays with it. A great job here by Drexel. They can take their time, induce Penn, and fire it all the way down the ice. Captured there. There's a shot, big save there. 
Plotkin got a stick on it to take some of the zip off that shot. Alaferov has been active on this shift, and he gets the puck now back behind the net. Taken off it well, though, Urbani. And now Will Torgerson is on it. Back for Alaferov. Torgerson, back to the point. This is Raman. Raman shot, deflected, and they score! That's a second power play goal, a tip drill. And Penn leads 3 to 2. Really good work that time by Alaferov and by Torgerson to set up that goal opportunity. A second power play goal for the Quakers, and it's 3 2. Three straight for Penn. And there's 14 minutes and 30 seconds to play in the second period. Ben Shelley back to get it behind his own defensive net. Right across the crease, that was dangerous. Moyer on it. And now Penn winning these 50-50 puck battles. There's a big hit, Finlayson. Finlayson took down D'Amelio. Shoveled in that time. D'Amelio trying to chase after it. Rudloff, wow, he overran it, but able to get it back. Now looking to clear. And along the near side, it gets out to the neutral zone. Flicked at there by Mikulik, and Mikulik will possess. Rudloff, nice pass there for Finlayson, and we got a whistle. with 13.41 to play. And this faceoff is going to come back to center ice. It'll be Michael Webb. Drexel wins the faceoff. Eisler nearly came up with it. Spinning with it now, Connor Blend. 13-30. In the second period, it's a 3-2 lead for the Penn Quakers. Spinning with it now, Matt Keller. Nudged into his own boards. And there for Drexel Daniel Seaman. Kept in at the point. Flicked down by Owen Mendham. He has an assist here tonight. Eisler there, drops it deep, comes up towards Sklar, who keeps it in and shoves it down below. Mendham tries to get a decent little hit in there. That was Eisler. In front, one time, Seaman, and he whiffed on it. 12.55 to go. Second period, it's 3-2, Penn. And a whistle. Helmet came loose. This faceoff is going to come in the Drexel offensive zone. Rosenbaum's been a spark plug all night, but that time does not win the faceoff. Here comes Penn. It's two on two, and they got numbers trailing, make it a four on two. Shot saved by Moyer and directed safely to the backboards. Kept in here, though, by Penn. Jerry Zhang. Zhang couldn't get the shot off. And now Chase Tomorrow fights for it, but it's slipped back by Raman. Now Cole Sepley is on it for Penn, and it flips up and into the netting a stoppage with 12.22 to play. We'll be broadcasting many of the Drexel Dragons games this year, both D1 and D2, and excited to be here for it. My name's Bob Long. Yeah, it's been a while since we did this two years ago. Both the D1 and the D2 teams did not have a season due to COVID last year, and certainly we missed it, but we're excited to be back. And here comes Timmy Mikulik. Mikulik carries it in. Mikulik with a backhand, and it's a save made. Kolstinek stays tight on that near side post. And one more look at Mikulik carry this one in. 
Good save that time by Kolstinek. 12.05 to play second period. Turning on it now, Shane Better. Better, the lefty, lost the puck, but it will come into the neutral zone. Some hand fighting there between Mikulik and Blend. Make that Justin Williams. 11.46 to play as Penn carries it across. Mikulik lost the stick. Alaferov was on it. Now a shot that one high and did stay in the rink off the stick of Shane Better. Now Rahman. Raman turns on it with Finlayson, and providing some pressure. And right there, tough play. Alaferov caused his teammate to slip. D'Amelio in there as well. Rosenbaum flips that one across and it will not stay in the zone. Good punch that time by Shane Better. Better chases Ben Shelley back for Drexel as they'll play it into the middle of the ice. Rosenbaum. Off for Garrett Sklar, but they give it away. And an opportunity for Will Torgerson. A shot. Save made there by the pad of Moyer. Mason Moyer in net for Drexel. He's made 13 saves on 16 shots this evening. Big hit into the boards. Hanging in there, Owen Mendham. But now a giveaway. Torgerson backhand saved there by the chest of Mason Moyer. 10.31 to play. A faceoff comes in the pen offensive circle. See this puck coming three here and a nice job by Torgerson. You see he has skills. He's willing to go either to the forehand or to the backhand like he did in that case and force Mason Moyer to stand his ground there in the net. A shot is blocked there by Drexel. Urbani is in there defensively. Plotkin right back for Urbani, who lost it in his skates, but with no pressure, he's able to turn and flip it into the neutral zone. Fight for the puck, and Penn comes up with it. Number 15, Matt Keller. But now Drexel with it. Messerly. Messerly drops it back for number 28. Daniel Seaman and he unable to corral it. Penn the other way. Penn with a shot. Calvin Alaferov. A blocked shot goes right across in the slot. Spinning and nobody there. Here comes Drexel the other way. This is Eisler. Eisler is hit hard. And that was some high contact. The hand stayed down though from the officials and Justin Levin cannot believe it. Tough for me to believe it up here either. That contact was above the shoulders. A blindside hit in center ice. That is a surprising no call. And this is gonna take a while. Levin is going to be heard out. Drexel wins the faceoff. Threw some traffic, didn't get all the way to the net. And Penn comes the other way. It's one on one. Spinning there. And some contact's going to take the net off its moorings. And the applause comes from the Drexel bench. The sticks bang against the boards. Tim Mikulik mixing it up, defending his teammate. That's a captain there for Drexel. He and Josh Finlayson this year bear the C on the white sweaters. If you're just joining us, it's pen two, or pen three, Drexel two, make that 9-10 to play second period. Another shot goes just wide. Might have been deflected. Another one comes right on. Moyer is there, and only a momentary rebound as he covers it up with 9.03 to play. It was 2-0 Drexel. They were off to a dream start. 
But Penn came back, scored two goals in the final five minutes. One on the power play. That was a five on three power play that Drexel nearly staved off the entire two minutes with a two man disadvantage. And then Penn scored a goal to begin the second period. Again, a man up. Moyer will cover it up and we'll do it one more time on that same dot. Simon Rosenbaum sets to take the face off for the Dragons. A shot comes through and a blocker sorry, would make that a pad save by Mason Moyer. Drexel can't get the clearance. Shelley plays it off the boards. Skittered across the backside and now Drexel will finally get it into the neutral zone. Brought right back. And they're looking for a possession, they'll get it tomorrow. Plays it forward for Garrett Sklar, who's tied up on his way to the puck. Kept in, Rudloff. Rudloff's shot goes up and out of the netting. In fact, into the netting, down, and onto the concourse level there as it skipped back behind the glass. So we'll need a new puck. It'll be Seaman to take the face off. Seaman nearly got it back on his stick there. Couldn't control it. Nice punch through. There's a shot from an off angle. Couldn't go, but that was Mark Lurie. Penn gets the clearance. This should wave off the icing. Wow. That's a tough call as well. And you look at the Penn bench. They can't believe it. That one went right past Rudloff and... I think that's Penn's argument is, come on now, how's that icing? Rudloff had every opportunity to stop that puck. Eight minutes exactly on the clock here in the second period. Plutkin's shot was deflected by Finlayson. Made it all the way to the net. Good look that time and a good stick. We'll get another look at this here. And the one-timer by Plot. Can you see there? Nice stick. That was actually Mikulik and not Finlayson. But the two captains right next to each other there. Mikulik nearly got that one in the back of the net. Quakers bring it forward. Torgerson whips it along the backside. Urbani turns on it well and avoids a big hit. Chris Lurie flicks it to the line, but not out, and chipped deep. One hopper to Moyer. Mason Moyer is there on the stop with 7.31 to play in the second period. Drexel will get a switch. Full line change here. Shots are listed at 21 in favor of Penn and 14 in favor of Drexel. But the big board says Penn 3, Drexel 2. Garrett Sklar plays it forward. Chase tomorrow. He's got a ton of speed. Doesn't quite get to that one in time, and Sklar whiffs on it. Pulled back the other way by the Quakers. And this will not be icing. Sklar back there to get it. That's Josh Sklar. Off to Garrett Sklar, and nudge forward for Simon Rosenbaum. Between Rosenbaum and tomorrow, there's a lot of speed on this line. Josh Sklar brings the energy, and Garrett Sklar tried to lay a nice hit there as well. Alaferov. Alaferov from an off angle, back behind the net, sent in front, there's nobody there. There's a man up ice, and a nice job retreating by Penn. That's number 44, Blake Vastola. 6.37 to play. Nestled down the ice by Kieran Sullivan. Sullivan got a shot on it, wouldn't go. Josh Sklar. And Penn right back the other way. And I think this is offside, but it wasn't called. And that one is wide. 
I thought he was in the zone at that point, and now Vastola shot through traffic. Another shot comes all the way in on Moyer, and he's able to punch it away. 6.06 to play. A lot of chance here. Vastola, one more. A second one in front. Moyer's made some big saves on this possession, and Drexel able to get the clearance. They'll get a couple of guys changed out here. D'Amelio dumps that one in. Chasing after it is Shane Better. But now turning on it for Drexel is Mike Connolly. Connolly plays it forward for Chris Lurie. Lurie makes one miss. Lurie carries into the zone. He'll get a shot on it from an off angle. Goes right across the blue crease as Rudloff pinches. And he had the puck. He just didn't really know where it was. 5.25 to play, second period. Good pinch there by Mikulik. He'll take the shot, and it goes high up and into the netting. Deflected there by Penn. 5.19 the time, 3-2 Penn the score. An entertaining second period of hockey here from both teams home. Class of 1923 Arena on the campuses of Penn and Drexel. Side by side here in University City, Philadelphia. The first of a doubleheader, a City Six doubleheader here tonight. The D1 team from Drexel will take on Temple's D1 team. And a big hit comes late after the whistle again. And this is going to get a good look at it. You see that hand up, whistle goes, bang. Penn bringing the physicality here tonight. There is no doubt about that. Drexel looking to respond with some physicality of their own. And more importantly, looking to find something between those red pipes. Beckert and a little miscommunication out of time with Michael Webb. Pitched deep by Drexel. DeMauro is in there, but it's well done that time by Kolstinek, the goaltender. And that leads to the clearance. Might lead to an opportunity here for Penn. Spinning that time was Connor Blend. Right in front they come, and it was a great opportunity. Just couldn't find the stick of his teammate. Drew Raman playing with it a bit too much behind his own net, but Penn's going to get away with it. In fact, create some possession and an opportunity. Alex Beckert dumps it forward. Here's Will Torgerson. Torgerson in front, they come, and it was a good pass, but Drexel had the numbers there. A big hit takes down number nine, Zach Messerly. More contact as Drexel's looking to clear. Penn is bringing the noise here tonight. Eisler, he'll chase it himself, 3.28 to play. Drexel's going to get on this puck, but nudged off well by Penn. And this one sent down. They will wave off the icing as Owen Mendham is back to get it. Oh, bad giveaway here. Here's an opportunity for Penn. Trying to get on the backhand, they do. Moyer makes the save. Mendham gave it away. Now Eisler chips it in. That's going to be wide of the goaltender, Finlayson. Excellent work to get back there on the forecheck, and Drex is going to get possession as a result. Oh, but it's poked away from Tim Mechelik. Last guy back there was Mendham, and he needed to be. Job still not done yet for Drexel, but they prevented a breakaway opportunity. That shot had nothing on it. Drexel looking for the long pass. And will they win the race? They say no. They say no. And that pass is deflected. They were trying to just get that to the backboards. Well done there by Drexel. Played across. And it's tipped there. 
Chris Lurie back there to get it. Lurie making life tough on the Penn Quakers. Cole Sepley comes onto it now, number 17 for the Quakers. He takes a huge hit back behind the net, and now Drexel is called for the penalty. One more look at this one, Garrett Sklar. Hmm. 158 to go, second period, it's 3-2. So this power play for Penn will take us either to the end of the period or until a Quaker goal. Penn two for two on the last two power plays. And this one in front, that was dangerous. It's still dangerous as the Quakers look for an opportunity on the weak side. And Rudloff got down there to block and punch it to the backboards. Not out of trouble yet, though. McGoldrick. Vastola. Vastola pops it up into the air, and Drexel comes down with it. Nicely done there by Rudloff. Shelley with it now. A minute 30 to go in the period. Sends it all the way down. Andy Lane to it now, number 20. And Drexel comes up with it again. Here's Plotkin. It's two on two. Oh, and they just lost the puck. Again, it still comes in front. Plotkin turns and couldn't fire it on net. It was a good effort there from Connolly, but again, this ice is getting really choppy. It looked like the puck just kind of stuck. And he lost it. There's a shot. Big save by Moyer. Another one. Moyer in there, and an early whistle as that puck was absolutely still loose. But the officials, a quick whistle there to stop it with 54 seconds left. If you're Penn, you don't love that. Officiating, I think, is left a little bit to be desired in this 20-minute period. That one in particular, a tough break for the Quakers. Top of the circle, they're thinking about it. Torgerson. Plays it back into the slot, a long shot there. Rebound, and it's covered up by Mason. Mason Moyer in net for Drexel. He has faced a lot here in this period. He's made every save but one. And Drexel protecting their guy at the tail end of the play. 31 seconds left in the period, 33 left on the man advantage. Drexel could not clear. Lane has it now. Torgerson back for Andy Lane. Torgerson, one time it was deflected and went wide. That was never on target. And now Finlayson. Finlayson lost the puck and now an opportunity for Penn. Perhaps one more. Five seconds left in the period. And they're just going to take it to the backboards. And he covered it, Mason Moyer, perhaps with a tenth of a second, or they're just going to let this one go to the end of the second period. Yes, indeed. We're done with two periods here. Penn scores one. They lead three to two. And we'll come back in about 15 minutes for the third period here on Bob Long Sports and the Drexel Hockey Network. All of our games here on the Drexel Hockey Network are brought to you by the Drexel University LeBeau College of Business. Stay with us, and we'll be right back.
time for period number three. Drexel University D2 ACHA Hockey against Penn Quakers, also in the D2 of the ACHA. Good one so far. Penn 3, Drexel 2. Dragons led with the first two goals of the game. Chase Tomorrow and then Simon Rosenbaum. And Penn scored the next three. Two for three on their last three power play attempts. And they've controlled the run of play out shooting Drexel 24 to 18. But on the big board it says Penn 3, Drexel 2, trying to make it four. Shot and a save by Mason Moyer. And that's a big one, just 16 seconds in to this third period. Webb wins the faceoff for Penn. Shot comes on, it does all come all the way to Moyer and he covers it up. A deflection that didn't have much on it, but did necessitate Mason Moyer's attention. And another look. Another face-off won by Penn. Right across, and Moyer makes one save, make it two, and covers up 19-27. He's had to make three saves early on here in the first 33 seconds of the third period. A newcomer, we didn't see Mason Moyer two years ago. Again, last year, both of these teams did not play due to COVID, so there are some new faces on this Drexel team that we'll be bringing to you over the course of the year on the Drexel Hockey Network. Mike Ravani plays that one forward, and that should wave off the icing. Indeed, it does. Vastola back there to get it, but it's shoveled away by the goaltender. And that comes on an off angle right in front. That was a dangerous rebound, and Blake Vastola clears it away. Three on two. This is Connor Blend. Blend all the way in. Moyer one save and got another piece of the second one. But Penn is bringing the charge here in the third period, picking up where they left off. They've gotten three really good scoring opportunities in the early stages of the third period. Here's Andy Lane across ice. Drexel gets a change. Eric Eisler comes onto the ice. This one filleted deep, and Plotkin is on it. Plotkin turns. It'll get to the point, but no further. Lane comes through with deflected wide. And Plotkin has it for the Drexel Dragons in their white sweaters, pin in the road red. This one will force Urbani back behind the net. He comes forward with it and lost the puck. Fortunate to get it back. Eisler chips. Eisler again and taken down as he does get it past the goal line. Big hit there laid by number nine, Zach Messer. Lay another one back behind the boards. Eisler as Drexel comes with a little bit more pop and buzz on this shift. Seaman corralled there by Kieran Sullivan. A shot goes just wide. Now Owen Mendham. Bumps it back below the goal line. Mendham will get it back. And Penn comes the other way. A good look. This is Torgerson. One-on-one -on -one, takes the shot. Nicely maneuvered that time by Moyer to the backboards. But not out of trouble yet. Ripped around the boards. Kept in there by Penn. Torgerson has it on his stick. Lays it back. Chat comes on and deflected back behind the net. Another one can't come through. Back to the point it comes. Shot comes all the way through, wide open on the backside, they score! And it's Hayden Stefan. He's the captain, and he puts Penn ahead four to two. One more look, again, deflection, and at that point, Mason Moyer had no shot. That's four straight goals for the Penn Quakers. Drexel trying to get one back real quick here. Chase Tomorrow didn't get much on that one. Sklar back for Tomorrow. A one-time shot does get all the way through and the puck is loose. 
And Penn is fortunate to clear. Ben Shelley plays it across ice. Sklar, one touch for DeMauro. And DeMauro doesn't have any help back there. Now Rosenbaum comes in, and that one pops up and out of the rink. 16.25 to play here, third period. It's 4-2, Drexel. It'll be Timmy Mikulek. Pops through, one-time shot that goes up and into the netting. 16.20 to play, we'll do another face-off in the Drexel offensive zone. Shots 27 for Penn and 19 for Drexel. A reminder, this is the first of a double header that we'll be doing here tonight on Bob Wong Sports and the Drexel Hockey Network. Next up, Drexel's D1 team takes on fellow Philadelphia foe, Temple University. Long way to go here in this one, though, as that one is kept in right at the line. And it looks like a few more guys are now they are trying to come to the puck. That puck is stuck, and referee's telling them to move the puck, skittered wide. Vastola. And Vastola, along with his teammate there, they're going to be able to clear it. And here's Alex Beckert. Beckert into the zone. Nice drop. Good shot there, and the blocker got up high. Another big rebound there as it came off that backboard. Finlayson right into the blocker there of the goaltender Cole Stinek. Andy Lane controls back behind the net. 15-20 to play. A two-goal lead for Penn. DeMauro gets it deep. Kolstenik out there to get it. He'll drop it off. And very calm and collected play that time by the Penn Quakers. That is going to be icing, though. 15-03 to play. Third and final period of regulation. Simon Rosenbaum plays it back, and the whiffed on the shot did Urbani. Played forward by Rosenbaum. Urbani again. And they lost the glove, but the puck's still in the possession of the Penn Quakers. Shot blocked there by Plotkin. And a good move by Plotkin. A lot of open ice, and they didn't find the open man. So it's shoveled back deep by Penn. Allows them to get the second half of that change done. Plotkin comes onto the puck for Drexel. Penn controls. That's Torgerson. And now everybody's on side, but it pops right back out of the zone. Penn turns with it. This is Drew Raman. Raman rips that one around. And a couple of changes here for Penn. Meanwhile, here comes Drexel. They got numbers. Oh, a great play right off the bench. Tyler McGoldrick provides the energy and breaks up the scoring chance. Torgerson, that goes off his skate. And Josh Sklar has it now. 13.46 to play, third period. Sklar lost the puck. It's getting a little sticky again out there as the ice starts to wear down. And that should not be icing. Wow, that is... Boy, oh boy, Penn was meandering towards that puck as that skated seemingly in slow motion through the two of them. 13.32 to play third period. Block shot in front, still in a dangerous area. Back to the point. Yeah. 
And wrap around. Right there was Moyer on the near side post. Another chance for Penn. The wrister, it's blocked. Eisler got the black on and off the shot from Keller. Another shot didn't get through, blocked there well. And back the other way comes Messerly. That pass was beyond the stick of Eisler. Now Matt Keller turns on the puck back behind the net with patience. And it's ripped down the ice by Hayden Stefan. 12.37 to play as Sklar plays it back behind the net. This is Garrett Sklar. Up towards his teammate, uh, number 26, Chris Lurie, who couldn't get there. But now a slip, an opportunity. Chris Lurie is back there fighting against Blake Vastola. Mikulik there now. Lurie in front, and it is deflected away. Not out yet as Redloff nudges it deep. Finlayson onto the puck. Back behind the net for Lurie. Mikulik comes out in front. There's a one-time shot, and it's saved. Really good from Xander Kolstinik here tonight. Led up two early ones and has been brilliant since. Another look at the one-timer from Finlayson. Here's an opportunity for Penn. Oh, what a defensive play. And no, they're going to say it was not clean. Delayed penalty, and now Drexel touches up Jake Rudloff. Called for tripping. I thought he might have gotten puck, but the trip takes down Penn, and the Quakers are in business. Up to going on the power play with 11.47 to play in this one. Two-minute minor goes to Jake Redloff. And in front, Penn couldn't get the shot off. Boy, they had two great chances there. Garrett Sklar got it all the way down. And Sklar does it again. This time he hoists it into the Penn bench. So the faceoff will be outside the zone. 11.21 to go and a minute 35 to play on this man advantage for Penn. Penn looking to set up shop offensively. Played back to the point, extra pass across for Andy Lane. Lane for Keller. Lane gets it back. Another shot goes just wide. Seaman, a great job there for Drexel. 1.03 left in this power play. 10.45 left in the game. Connor Blend drops it back for Torgerson. Torgerson for McGoldrick. McGoldrick a shot, but deflected and did go wide. 45 seconds left on the man advantage. And Finlayson is there. He'll calmly dispose of that puck down the ice. McGoldrick and Torgerson. Carried in here by Drexel. That's Chris Laurie. 17 seconds left on Penn's man advantage. Laurie again doing a great job. Hanging on to the puck. Wasting away those seconds. Rudloff ready to come out of the box. And he'll do that now. Back to full strength. 
Corgerson takes the shot. Big rebound, and Gavert Sklar was there. That was big on the weak side as there was a Quaker there ready to deposit that in the back of the net. Seven, make that nine, 28 to play. Now Drexel's got to go. They create a three on one. Simon Rosenbaum right in front, and tomorrow couldn't finish it. That was brilliant from the Drexel forward Rosenbaum. Not done yet as he turns and fires. It was deflected by tomorrow, but could not go. 9.07 to play. Moyer got a stick on it. Penn gets a change, so Drexel will turn with the puck. Rosenbaum, he's been the best source of offense thus far tonight for Drexel. Whips it into the zone. He'll come to a change, a full line change here for Drexel. 8.43 to play. At the line, kept in there by Rudloff. Rudloff continues to charge, overran the puck. And nudge forward at the point. Here's a two-on-one, another Drexel Dragon trailing. That's Rudloff, who got the stick on it. 8.25 to play. To the point, but not out. Deflected in front, comes right in front of the net, and that was dangerous. Now Daniel Seaman plays forward. Eric Eisler couldn't get a stick on it. Shelley, and now back for Rudloff. But they cannot get the clearance. Now stoppage, and this is going to come out of the zone because number 15, Matt Keller, knocked it out over the boards. Stoppage comes with 8.02 to play in the third period. It's pen four, Drexel two. Now the linesman is still over at the Drexel bench, so we're not going to get a drop right now. And he might be replacing a mask. Uh. He's depositing something over at the scorer's table. A couple extra pucks, it looks like. So now we're ready for hockey. 8.02 to play. And a 4-2 lead for Penn. Back behind the net, it's Josh Sklar trying to get rid of it. Tim Mikulik in there as well. But instead, Penn turns on it, gets a shot, and couldn't finish it. That was Michael Webb. No numbers here for Chris Lurie, and he loses the puck. But Josh Finlayson gets in on the act now on a four check. Whipped across there by Rahman. Rahman plays a forward for Beckert. Beckert played it across, and nobody there. Now dumped in deep by Michael Webb. Webb does get it back right near the point. Chris Lane sends it across. Make that Andy Lane. My apologies. 7.20 to play. As it gets into the middle of the ice, Penn with control. Andy Lane across for Alex Becker, who gains the zone. Becker loses the puck. Nicely done there by Josh Finlayson. And some quick line changes here by Drexel. Trying to stay as fresh as they can, but trying to keep their best players on the ice, they need two goals. Axel D'Amelio dumps it deep for Penn. Josh Sklar in there, but first to a chain better for Penn. And better dumps it into the zone, back out to the neutral zone. Gavin Sklar punches it along. It'll get into the Penn zone, wave off the icing. Six minutes and 30 seconds to play. Shane Better has it now on the left stick. Whips it back behind the net. And Drexel with a high line here pressing. Drexel gets a touch. Might create an opportunity here, but they don't have any numbers. Chase tomorrow. Sklar takes an ambitious shot, and it doesn't get to net. Coming onto it now, number four for Drexel, Mike Urbani. Urbani does get it deep for tomorrow. He's got one of the two goals for Drexel. But tomorrow lost the puck, and it's up and into the netting. Fired there by number 44, Blake Vastola. Time on the clock, 5.56. The score, Penn 4, Drexel 2. Shots on goal, 29 for Penn, 22 for Drexel. 
And another line change here for Drexel. There's a shot, it was deflected and it went wide. Pinching there is Urbani. Played forward, kept in. Nice pinch that time at the point. They're gonna get it onto their stick. Shot, they score! And how about that? Drexel back within one. Zach Plotkin, he pinched at the point. He got possession, got it on his strong right stick. A wrister finds the twine. And we got ourselves a ball game. Five minutes and 33 seconds left. Penn has controlled the run of play. But you can see in those last few shifts, and it was quicker shifts there for Drexel, bursts of energy, that they were able to create some opportunities. They're taking some chances, no doubt about that. Penn could get some odd man rushes, but for right now, they're getting some good looks like that one on the weak side. It popped just straight up. Kolsinek might have gotten the blocker on it. A brilliant save that time. Now one timer didn't get all the way to the net, it was blocked. Another one blocked before it gets to the net and back behind the net it goes. Nikolic there on the near side boards. Working really hard. You can feel a little bit of momentum here for Drexel as Ben Shelley takes down the pen forward. Puck is stuck there. Referee is asking them to keep it moving, and now they do. 4.30 to go. Final period of play, and we got an icing. So the tired legs of this Penn defense has to return for at least one more faceoff. Beckert can't clear it. Nice job there by Rosemont. Right in front it comes, and it couldn't get onto the sick of tomorrow. And now Penn got the puck lost, but they have it now. Beckert plays it across. It'll be flipped into the zone, and now Penn will get that change. Connor Blend was the one to flick it with the left stick. Four minutes to play. Andy Lane has it now. Lane plays it to the middle, Shane better. Better, and that little stick there from Chase tomorrow forced him offside, and now a little bit extra as he got tied up with number 14, Justin Williams. Boy, I tell you, Kolstinik, time evaporated on him there, but able to cover it up with 3.44 to play. Does Drexel have one more run in him? When does Mason Moyer come to the bench? I'd say it's at least a minute from now, but we'll keep our eyes on that end of the ice. It's a one goal deficit for Drexel, under three minutes and 30 seconds to play now. Urbani pinched and came up with the puck on the forecheck. Now looking for help, gets it back to the point. Across for Eisler, Eisler and Cross. That was a good looking pass there. He tried to find a stick. It might have had a minor deflection, but not enough to beat the goaltender, Kolsinek. Zach Plotkin back to get it. 
We're under two minutes and 55 seconds to play. Plotkin carries it in. Plotkin leaves it off. There's a shot. It was on the near side. Blocker save. Kolstinek is there. Finlayson's shot goes up and into the netting after a deflection. 2.38 on the clock. Head into the wire here at the Class of 1923 Arena. It was a thriller last year, and it's been a thriller so far this year. Drexel was a 7-6 winner in this matchup on this sheet of ice. A sheet of ice that both teams call home. It was a great game last year. Heading to the wire again. And couldn't keep it in at the point. Here's an opportunity. Oh, what a move. Moyer's there. Rebound. It's still loose. And Drexel comes up with it. That's Ben Shelley. Mikulik still tied up in front of the net with Alaferov. On the other end, though, here comes Drexel. Couldn't get the stick on it. And Torgerson comes the other way. A lot of open ice here. Two minutes left. Torgerson, great move. Save made. Another one by Mason Moyer. Keeps his team in the game with 2.05 to play. Really good. We'll see if that's the last save that Moyer has to make because with two minutes and four seconds on the clock, the question now is when does he come to the bench? It's not going to be there. Penn gets the goal. Michael Webb off the faceoff. You'll see the quick shot on net and a big rebound. Webb once, Webb twice. And it's 5-3 Penn. They've nearly put this one away with one minute and 59 seconds to go. Penn looking to add one more to really put the cap on it here. Now 140 to go. Sklar and DeMauro taking off the puck. He wants a call. Nothing comes. But a giveaway. Plotkin in front. They jam away out and the puck's still loose. Now everybody's involved. And the net comes off its mooring. Becker took a nice swipe at the stick of Garrett Sklar. Wasn't particularly happy with the after the whistle extracurriculars. 126 to go. Faceoff comes out of the zone. 5-3, there's a minute and 26 seconds to go in this one. And Drexel's going to call their timeout. 126 to go. A reminder that this and all our games here on Bob Long Sports and the Drexel Hockey Network brought to you by Drexel University's LeBeau College of Business. If you're interested in learning more about Drexel University's LeBeau College of Business, go to Drexel University's website, and there will be an opportunity for you to check out everything that's going on with Drexel University's LeBeau College of Business, a proud sponsor of Drexel University Ice Hockey. Let's get a look in on Justin Levin and the Drexel huddle here. Trying to devise one last rush here to cut the deficit to one, and then who knows, anything can happen in that final minute of play.
A buck 25 and Drexel, if they want to get back in it, they need a goal now. Right in front, that came across the blue crease. Still fighting for it along those boards. Punched along and kept in at the point by Zach Plotkin. Plotkin again up to task right at the blue line. Shot comes through, was deflected wide by Garrett Sklar. Plotkin again, this time will play it across to the opposing point. Timmy Mikulik. Mikulik gets it on his backhand, turns with it, and winds it back behind the net. Here's Garrett Sklar back for Mikulik. Tried to one-time it. Now does get it through, but didn't get anywhere near the net, and it's cleared away by Will Torgerson. Moyer is out of the net. Extra skater on for Drexel. 31 seconds to go. They trail by two. Finlayson across the center of net. Mikulik's shot is blocked. He'll get it right back. 19 seconds left. Chris Lurie. Zach Plotkin, a shot, gets halfway there. And now a whistle. And Chase DeMauro was getting mixed up in front of the net. And he is sent off with nine seconds left in the hockey game. So he's going to head right to the locker room. And Penn's going to be able to get out of here with a win. 5-3, it was hard fought. Mason Moyer will return to the net for the last nine seconds of the game. Shot count as it currently stands, Penn 36, Drexel 25. They did control the run of play for the majority of the time. Impressive comeback from this Quakers team, dropping behind 2-0 in the first 10 minutes of the hockey game. Final five seconds, and it will be the Penn Quakers. They get their season off correctly for the win. A good start for the Quakers. Drexel, they fall to 0-1. But again, a great start for this team. Penn really turned on the pressure as the game went along. And these are going to be two fun teams to see play over the course of this ACHA season. Mason Moyer and Nett. He made 31 saves on 36 shots. And then Xander Kolstinek in net. He made 22 saves on 25 shots. And both these teams salute the crowd here as they retire to their respective locker rooms. Again, their home locker rooms, as it turns out. And some uh, well wishes being exchanged. Two teams that know each other very well, pass each other in the hallways, into, into and out of practice. And no doubt, guys that grew up playing together at the high school level and, and prior as well. So these are fun games to call. Congrats to the Penn Quakers who get their season started in a big way. 5-3, the win over Drexel. Stay with us. We're going to have more in just a bit here on the Drexel Hockey Network. It's time says 9.55. The Temple Ice Hockey team was moving in a bit ago. Drexel's D1 team will be ready to go as well. we got a different YouTube link for that, so check that out on our YouTube page. Give us a follow. Subscribe to us if you would. And we'll be the place for Drexel Hockey this season. So this has been Bob Long signing off for now, of course. From the class of 1923 Arena, I expect that second game to start around 10.30. So join us then.